it goes and sticks in your colon. So, the waste material which should have easily flown out will not flow out of the system. It's a hotbed for illness. That means your respiratory action and your thought process and your sense of smell will get lowered over a period of time. It definitely renders to you dullness. If you eat too much of tuberous material like potatoes and other tuberous substances, you will generate gas which is below the navel. Once you generate gas there, your prana between the navel and the pit of the throat will not function as it should and the dynamism levels in your system will go down. Among the vegetables, things like radish, these are one of the few things which grow underground and still positive, carrot, radish, th all the other tuberous material like potatoes and potato family are zero pranic, but they cause what is called the stomach. Stomach means it brings a certain inertia into you. We generally advise students and meditators not to eat potatoes and its family because they increase the sleep quota. Both for the student who's studying and for the meditator, the biggest enemy is the sleep, you know. If you close your eyes and sit, if you open the textbook, textbook is a great tranquilizer, isn't it? <laughs> and on top of it, if you're on a potato diet, you'll fall asleep instantly. Dairy products have certain enzymes which are used today to manufacture certain textile adhesives. These adhesives are not water-soluble. So when you consume lot of dairy product, it goes and sticks in your colon. So the waste material which should have easily flown out will not flow out of the system. The general alertness in the body and in the mind will go down by consumption of dairy products. At least those who come from the south, they told you even in your school, if you eat the curd rice, you will fall asleep. Yes or no? If somebody's sleepy, it's a common thing in South India, you know, Thayer Sadha Sapta Vandiya Everybody knows it makes you dull, but the teacher also eats, that's a problem. <laughs> it is an established fact medically that in your present system, if you eat raw meat, it would take anywhere between seventy to seventy-two hours to pass through the system. If you eat cooked meat, it would take fifty to fifty-four hours to pass through the system. If you eat cooked vegetarian meals, it will take twenty-four to thirty hours to pass through the system. If you eat an uncooked vegetable, it will take twelve to fifteen hours to pass through the system. If you eat a fruit, it will take one and a half to three hours to pass through the system. Why is it taking so much time? Because essentially the elementary canal in a human being is about twenty-four to thirty-six feet long this whole pipe that's going from lip to the anal outlet. In all the herbivorous animals, this is a feature that their alimentary canal is approximately five to six times the length of their body. In all the carnivores, it's only two and a half to three times the length of their body. Or in other words, all the meat-eating animals have a very short intestinal length. All the herbivores have a long intestinal length. So because vegetarian food passes through the system quickly, so the design factor of length has been designed like this. So when you keep… eat meat and keep in the system for a long time, definitely it's a hotbed for illness. In many ways you will create it. Eating meat has become a part of our… you know, in the culture in the world, because in many societies in the past, survival was the mode. When it's a question of survival, eat anything that is necessary to be eaten, that's a different thing. Once survival is taken care of, that's when you choose. Now you choose what kind of a body you want, what kind of function you want to perform, accordingly you eat. This is not about a taboo about eating meat, this is about eating more consciously, this is eating by choice. In the yogic tradition, if you cook anything, 
maximum within one and a half hours you must consume it. If there are certain types of items, up to four hours is okay. Beyond that you don't touch. It doesn't matter how tasty it is, how nice it is, you don't touch anything because then you will develop gases in the system. Gas is not only in the stomach that you will feel obviously, but you will develop vayus in the system which will work against your pranavayu. That means your respiratory action and your thought process and your sense of smell will get lowered over a period of time. These three are very vital for you to be a vibrant human being.